feet to the fire, Pat, what would you order from here if you had to? Coke, five bucks. <laughs> I'm never gonna financially recover. From this. Welcome, Walt Disney World fans, to another episode of the Notcast presented by NotClub33.com. On the show today, we're talking about the Cake Bake Shop. Last time a bakery came to Disney, it was all the buzz. My name is Steve Rhodes. With me this week, it's Becky Wells. Hey. Say hello to Pat Neistat. What's up? And the fourth member of our crew, the Disney Cynic, uh, as a commenter, Mr. Greg Jankowski labeled you Bob E. Bob E. <laughs> if you watched yes. uh, our last episode on Old Key West, you'll know what that means. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, and, and listen, putting an E on the end of me makes me fancy, obviously. So just like shoppy <laughs> uh, or towny. You we're know, gonna get so, it. We're gonna get into that with uh, yeah, with this, this menu at, at the cake bake shop. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but before we do, can I give you a fun fact? Yes. Let's sure. let's hear your fun fact. Did you know that Dr. Dre, at the time known as Andre Young, was a high school diver? No way. Did not. Know wait. That. Wait. Huh, he was man. actually a high school diver. He ended Dre, up. Uh, yeah, he ended up, uh, you know, focusing on music instead and uh, subsequently skipped a little bit of school and uh, had some trouble staying on that diving team. Shocking. But you know what? It worked out Darn. for him. Yes. I feel like he still made it work. Yeah, so. I yeah. think it worked out for all of us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, I can assure you, I though, heard. that I'm waiting for the next episode. Hold nice. Nicely played. Nicely played. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the Cake Bake Shop, uh, coming to Disney's Boardwalk. Um, wow. We had a chance. I, I don't know which news site broke these menus first. The walls came down and they had the paper menu up. Um, we we're kind of piecing this together from all sorts of places on the internet. I think Fantasyland News typed it out. So uh, that might be what you're seeing on your screen now. That it's easy to read. Um, man. <laughs> these prices guys uh for yeah. especially for the breakfast becky you brought this um, to our attention i'll just let you just jump oh in gosh. here uh, this is like like you said with like gideon's like all the hubbub around it i don't know what is going to happen with this psychotic episode of a restaurant uh listen it's uh the other like the home base of it is in carmel Indiana. Carmel. <laughs> you say Carmel. Um, yes. If you say Carmel, don't say that. <laughs> don't say Carmel. <laughs> um, not Caramel either. It is Carmel. Oh, please uh, say so that. So that should be more than there. enough. <laughs> no, I'm no. <laughs> um, but one thing that's funny, uh, Bobby mentioned adding the E to be fancy. It's called the Cake Bake Shop, but the word shop is maybe the only thing they didn't add a stupid E on the end. That's true. It <laughs> well, it doesn't cost you easy. anything to go in. It's just when you get on the menu, that's when right. you yeah. throw a, a fucking yeah, E on there. Yeah, look at it from the outside. You don't need the PPE. You just need shop. Oh, man. Uh, this, listen, there is the biggest bunch of bullshit I've ever seen on a menu, and that's saying quite a bit, especially at Walt Disney World Resort, because... <laughs> There is some absolutely wild things happening here. Um, I'm sorry. I, I'm not going to pay you $20 for a bowl of French onion soup. That's just never <laughs> going to be the That's thing. Rough. <laughs> um, That's rough. I, I'll say uh, I've got something that I am actually excited about on this menu, and I can wait till the end if we want to give like a. No, a I, like, what are, yeah. You, yeah. So I would like to hear this. Scoop is going to be a skip. <laughs> what, what, what would you purchase and, and find okay. a reasonable value? What I would go here for if they would let you do a takeaway, which I don't know because I'm not sitting down in this place yeah. for this. But their um, coffees, even just a regular coffee, but also uh, specialty coffees, it says that it's going to be Illy. And if that's actually the brand they're using in not okay. Joffrey's and it's an alternative to Starbucks and the Disney brand that isn't Joffrey's. Um, yes, I will pay five dollars <laughs> for your uh, Cafe Illy. I would do that. That coffee is pretty good. Um, and that is the brand that they usually use uh, in the specialty shop, like on Disney Cruise Line and the mm. concierge of Disney Cruise Line. So like, I'd be, I would go there for that. I don't need the fancy stuff because I don't like sweet 
that's not for me. But it's cheaper to get a coffee than a chocolate milk, so I don't know. Sure, tell me you wouldn't get eggs any style for 26 bucks. <laughs> Bruh. Or I kids, need to save my kids money bacon, for the cheeseburger. Kids, kids fucking bacon and eggs for $18? <laughs> no, my kids what would What the fuck does that look like? Not, um, I don't know, the peanut butter and jelly, which is named much more fancily for $18, seems like a comparable situation. Orange French toast, $26? Give me a fucking hey, you're not or- You're not ordering any of that? <laughs> no. One slice of cake, anyways, $26. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what happens with this uh, cake? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. I, it, Listen, it's, it's like, up there. The baguette is like, I unreal a warmed baguette i think we saw 12 dollars. is that right it's 12 bucks yeah. yeah 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 it's three dollars at the france pavilion uh see our previous episode where we talked about that <laughs> now in, no. in their defense prices on everything have come up now i i don't think they've come up to this level for <laughs> four anything <laughs> i mean if you go sit down at, at a restaurant that has earned like a michelin star or is like mentioned in the michelin guide or something like that Sure, this is going to be. Pre- you couldn't even get. This would be a decent deal. Um, but don't but this nickel and dime. That. Don't fucking tell me that it's, it's a one price, and you just get what they give you. Then you don't Broccoli break quiche, it down. Twenty eight dollars. Yeah, <laughs> broccoli quiche. Anyone? <laughs> twenty eight bucks. Bobby, now that since you are local, is this a place that's going to get you out of, out of your home to drive over to the boardwalk <laughs> to check out? I mean, obviously. I'm talking not for a review for the show, just in the context of you and your wife's day out in Orlando. Fuck no. Um, <laughs> Butter noodles, $18 only. Uh, that's the kids. Those are the kids' noodles, Becky. Not, those are, I wonder how many noodles. not in the adult portion. <laughs> uh, listen, thanks to Ozempic, that may be all I could stomach portion, anyway. Then. So, uh, <laughs> look, I'm, I'm not uh, nearly as... Uh, put off by this type of thing uh, as you guys are because i've been bitching about pricing on all this kind of stuff for a long 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 time and every time every single time don't act like you don't do it every single time you guys go disney's expensive what do you expect me 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 i'd rather (laughs) pay for everything and instead of fighting for everybody to get better pricing on stuff well, I don't to be talk fair, like you're that. bitching about things that are within reason. This is yeah, no, that, no this I'm not. not. Hold on, no, 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 no. Free. Imagine giving them. Imagine them giving you food for free, and then all of a sudden, then charging you twenty six dollars for the quiche. Just saying, that's what it would be akin to. But it's it's very yeah. much not the same thing. And so, uh, while I am absolutely disturbed by some of the high prices on these things, a, I bet you the yeah. baguette here is four times as big as the one in Epcot. And that may be the, the case tends well, to be, tends to be that some of the private uh, places tend to give better portion sizes than Disney does right uh, right now. I just want to wait and see until we like what the reviews yeah. of the actual food are before I say that if this is worth it or not, but from just like a one shot menu, fuck no, I'm not it's, going it's hard for unless me I hear it's amazing. Are, it's hard for me to say eggs are worth 26 bucks. But it might not be the eggs. I mean, it might be no the point. bacon. How many it might eggs be... going to give you? I don't know. <laughs> That's my point. We have to wait for 10 s- fucking seconds to, to see if this is worth it or not. But, like, y- yeah, first glance, of course, obviously, clickbaity. It looks but fucking here, here's the difference between me. Here's the difference between me and you, Bobby, is that I see this menu. I think it is overpriced. I'm not going to fucking go to it. I'm not going to spend my money there. You, on the other hand, will go to Disney. You complain about it, but you still fucking go. Oh, eh. <laughs> he's got you there. <laughs> you might, but I also still have not renewed my annual pass and haven't oh, been in a month awesome. and a half. So, to be fair, to me, just saying, I'm kind of giving up on a lot of it. What? And this is one okay. of the reasons why, because it's so fucking expensive to do anything, including but not limited to get coffee. Let's let's put a marker in that, Bobby. When is your drop dead date before you can't renew? I think it's actually today. Today. Okay. So then you have okay. to start the fresh. date of recording. Yep. All right. Well, okay. you and Amanda have some tough decisions to make, and we'll uh, yes, follow we up with you. Maybe we'll hear about that on Cynics on Disney podcast uh, next week or in the future, depending on how things shake out with the uh, hurricane season. Down yes. In Florida. Which is why uh, we don't have as many shows as we should, guys. Sorry about that. It's all good. 
It's all good. <laughs> um, man, for me, I'm looking at this, and I mean, sure, everything is up, but you can't, <laughs> you can't put kids' buttered noodles for eighteen dollars. I mean, you, you, you just can't, can't do half the shit that they do, though. <laughs> That's my point: is that they keep doing all this stuff, and we keep paying it. Yes, I'm part of the problem. You guys are too. We all are as as, as customers of, of Disney at this point. Yeah. Like, but that's why if you are finally starting to get this reaction, welcome to my world, man. I've been here for like four years at this point. I do wonder because this isn't a Disney restaurant. This is just on Disney property. Um, I would assume. Rent time. I would assume. Oh yeah, the rent ain't cheap. I yeah. would assume that this <laughs> they're using scratch ingredients and this is all cooked from scratch because there's no freaking way that this is <laughs> something that they're just getting off of a truck and handing you the baguette like they better be making mm-hmm. that shit in house um i mean i don't think that they're hatching their own eggs but these better be some <laughs> pasture raised organic like <laughs> they better be uh, i the, the i do love deal. one they of the requirements <laughs> Yeah, I love yeah. one of the requirements for the chefs being that you have to have your own chickens out back in your backyard or some shit like that. <laughs> it, 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 it must be because, my goodness, um, I'm just kind of skimming the menu that they have uh, at their location that is in Indiana, and yeah. I would say that they are not really on par, to be quite honest. Uh, that broccoli quiche, Pat, would you say it was twenty eight dollars at Disney? Yep. Mm-hmm. And Carmel, Indiana, which if you guys aren't familiar with, is one of the richest like zip codes in that state, I believe. Um, so I was not familiar. Like, yeah, it's, it's it's not like it's your regular. It's not your regular suburb of Indianapolis. Um, well, it's eighteen dollars. <laughs> there. So there you go. So oh, that's a ten dollars well. swing for Orlando, which it, 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 that doesn't. That doesn't hold water. <laughs> uh, I, I'm going to throw this out there. Technically speaking, yeah. from a residency standpoint, there's a lot of fucking rich people in that zip code. There's a lot of rich people sure. in that zip code. For sure. Oh, sure. Golden Oak. This is. Isles oh, this is yeah. yeah. This is there's a a breakfast. They should have put it in Golden Oak, not, not on yes. the boardwalk. <laughs> at, four, at the yeah. four is where this should have gone, but yeah, whatever. Yeah. Mm. This is. But, you know, how much was Gideon's charging for a fucking cookie? And motherfuckers were wrapped around a line in a still, virtual there's queue. Still a line, like every day. You mm-hmm. fucking to get in. You fucking pixie dusters are all going to show up, wrap your ass around the line, and it'll be a three hour wait to get in this place, even with the reservation. Yeah, you you guys, <laughs> you um, know who you are. You probably. <laughs> I will throw this out there though, just for the Gideon's one. It's like yeah. that at their original location too. It's not just at the distance. So it must be so, a good cookie, right? Yeah. It, no, it's a really fucking good cookie. I mean, it's a yeah, really you, good cookie. Yeah. You did review that on your show, so you but like, like for real, like it'll give yeah. you diabetes in like one or two bites. But yeah, it is delicious, it. I man. Won't even smell them. So maybe I'll <laughs> make the uh, three-hour drive over to Indy here from St. Louis and uh, check this place out, and I'll report back whether or not it was uh, <laughs> if the juice was worth the squeeze. I mean, it's shorter than Disney to... and cheaper. Yeah, no, you I mean, wait less I might time. legitimately do that. Yeah, might legitimately do that. Why not? <laughs> you can make a whole <laughs> r- review about it and, you know, look away, IRS. It's a tax write-off. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you, you're back, IRS. Sorry. Welcome back to the show. <laughs> yeah, their coffee, their coffee prices are exactly the same at Disney as they are in Indiana. Huh. That's weird. Tea and what's, is cheaper. What's funny is uh, people, Florida, won't, people won't associate the name. Uh, yeah, that's they'll cool. not even know. They'll be like, "Well, this isn't Starbucks. Why should I pay Starbucks prices?" <laughs> it's because you're getting better coffee. It's cheaper than Joffrey's. It's cheaper than Joffrey's, and it's worth way more. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I don't drink coffee, so <laughs> Red Bull. Feet yeah. to the, feet to the fire, Pat. What would you order from here if you had to? Coke, five bucks. <laughs> 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 Cafe Italy, five bucks. To <laughs> toast is only four. You could do that. Bobby, I can't eat the toast. About you? I can't eat, I can't eat the toast. <laughs> you get the pixie. Yeah, the gluten whatever. will come around and kill them or something like yeah. that, right? Yeah. yeah. That's that's right. Yeah. Uh, Bobby, if you had to get something off this menu, what, what would you stomach? Not in the context of a review, but ordering. You know, 
maybe the if we were trying to be fancy about it, it depends on what reviews of it are. Maybe the steak uh, frites all yeah, paw frites. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I mean, pop. like, yeah. yeah, it might yeah. be good. I don't know. I just I want to give like a, just a little bit of a breath because I understand that I understand I have the exact same reaction uh, as everybody else did. But as the voice of um, contrarian ism i guess on this show i like i feel like we have to like give this one like five seconds the corn dog yeah. place though fuck that place i'm just saying <laughs> yeah this i think i'd probably end up with the steak au poivre and just uh that's just the peppercorn sauce on top of the steak if you're not familiar um i've seen that priced higher than that at other restaurants and i would just hope yeah. they were using a prime cut of steak and here. not choice grade but mm-hmm. I, I would assume it's probably they're just going to be. Don't get a steak here. Why? Why, Angus why beef, would you? But... Why would you let them do that? Because then what I would you? What else would you bad, get? Becky. Because the markup yeah. on the steak is so high everywhere that I'm used to pay. If you go to a restaurant, it's forty five dollars. What's fifty eight? Sure. Know? It's like one. Yeah. <laughs> that oh would be gosh. what I would probably end up getting and be very disappointed when it probably. So you wouldn't get the hamburger, medium rare. Hell no! It's like thirty bucks. <laughs> 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 Pat, you can get the gluten-free Pixie Fetty pancakes. And I think you yeah. have to order them just like that. Pixie Fetty. God, 22 yeah. bucks. <laughs> the kids' <laughs> portion pancakes? is 18. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, oh nope. It's just like that. Yeah. Nope. The, uh, the beer welcome to my world of disappointment, you know? Yeah. Well... I guess yeah. officially we aren't disappointed because the place doesn't exist just yet. But <laughs> <That's> uh, <true. laughs> why don't you guys at home let us know your thoughts on this place so far? Because this is all we know and is all we have to go on. Drop them down in the comments below. Will this be a place that you are going to hit up once it does open at Walt Disney World? Let us know your thoughts on that. While you're down there, consider subscribing as it helps out our channel. Smack a like to push us up in YouTube's algorithm. And if you're one wild child, Go ahead and hit those notifications so you know when we drop new videos just like this one. For everybody here at Not Club 33, have an awesome day.